Felix Gonzalez Torres was a Cuban artist born on November 26, 1957. Gonzalez Torres was a contemporary minimalist artist who used everyday objects that the audience could identify with. His work is all untitled, but he provides names in parentheses. The art he created also brought awareness to AIDS. Gonzalez Torres died on January 9, 1996 from an AIDS-related illness. This untitled 1991 billboard is an image of the bed that Gonzalez Torres shared with his partner and was displayed in 24 posters around the city of New York. The absence of human body speaks more than presence. This image was meant to honor the couple and his partner who had recently passed away. It is a personal image that he shared with the world, creating a real feeling that everyone can relate to once again with everyday objects. This piece is called Untitled Placebo. The piece of art contains 1,200 pounds of hard candy wrapped in silver wrapping. The candy is meant to be a carpet in which the audience is encouraged to take a piece making the sculpture disappear. The sculpture was in observance of World AIDS Day. This piece is called Public Opinion. This installation is political because it has to do with the war. The black licorice is a representation of bullets or missiles. Gathered together could be a funeral and the black color of the candy can be seen as grief. In the candy art installations that he made about Ross, the colors were bright. However, in this work, we see the opposite colors to give public opinion on the militarization of the Gulf War. This work is called Untitled Portrait of Ross in LA. This artwork is a homage to Ross, who was Gonzalez Torres' partner. The candy pile starts at 175 pounds, which represented a healthy male's weight. But as the candy is taken, the weight drops, which is a representation of the illness that was eating away his partner, Ross. This work is called Untitled Perfect Lovers. The clocks start out synchronized, but through time, they will eventually unsync, run out of battery, and stop. Gonzalez Torres mentioned that he was scared of time, which is why he made this piece to face his biggest fear, which once again hints at the illness his partner had in the very limited time they had together. <laughs>